Hello and Assalamu Alaikum. Very warm welcome to Zunisha Classic. I do hope everyone has been keeping well, inshallah. I am very well too, Alhamdulillah. Thank you for watching this video today. This will be my third part of my visit to Royal Botanical Gardens Q. Today we will explore the inside of Princess of Wales Conservatory. As we approach this magnificent glass house, we could see from the outside how stunning it looked visually. All the different sizes and textured plants, it looked really well together. There was mostly cacti or cactus, I could see, and lots of little and large succulents with also a beautiful little patch for some water lilies there it was just looked really beautiful it was more than i was expecting to see this plant here was humongous in size but i couldn't compare it to any of the plants there to give you a difference or an understanding in the size of this As we entered this house, I was greeted by beautiful smells and colourful sights of flowers from succulents and cacti plants and it looked like I was in some sort of Japanese garden. It was very refreshing and soothing to look at, very relaxing I have to add. I found the house to be a lot lighter, brighter and cooler than the two other houses that I have been to. It is also the most technologically advanced house at Kew Gardens, designed in a way to be more energy efficient. The glass panels on the roof and the side of the walls are helping to maximise the sunlight that enters into this house. There are also water tanks that have been embedded deep into this house beneath it. Rainwater is being collected and harvested here. The temperature and humidity are all being controlled by computer. This house that are cooped Sinta Bab Nahoria built for some design for ya. It's a la energy save for a zai home electricity use for a zai and rainwater collection for a zai. Guru Lamat Aro water tank cassette inta. Tita water tank or mazetara make a funny collection for a use for one. Shara Guru site is glass dipana. It's a la road duk to fare Guru maze. Automatically, it will heat up. For reason, for design, for I say, shop taki advanced iluki this house. Kew garden on maze, beshitara monitor horekta, and everything computer the other temperature control rahai koron maze. There is so much to see here at our conservatory, from steps to patios, they lead you to bridges and tunnels. It's quite interesting to see the 10 different distinctive zones that it has displayed on the plants here.
Everywhere I looked, I could see a different shape, a different pattern, a different size of cacti. It was very interesting to look at. I had never come across so much cacti in my life. I mean, what all cacti flower I see as well. Cacti mi flower khum dirsi. Only one or two ami dirsi shopur maze, but they were in small pots. Soto soto potro maze. I've never come across such huge sized cacti in my life, and it was quite overwhelming and really really beautiful to look at. Um, it's always nice to discover new things, especially species of plants. Out of all the cacti that I looked around, this was far by least my favourite section as there were so many different shapes, sizes, heights, lengths and patterns all blended in together to make one beautiful picture and it actually looked like a movie scene to me, like I was in a western and that Clint Eastwood was just going to pop round on his horse and say hello to us. It was surreal. It was just really nice to look at. It felt really warm and humid at the same time. It was just nice. Cactus or cacti are found in areas that are known to be in drought. They can perfectly adapt to live in the intense heat and environment of the desert-like conditions. They do not require a lot of watering. They can store water for longer than most typical plants can. Cactus plant uh, they will be surviving. But a hot climate like Kurun and dry climate like Kurun. in glass boxes, out of the glass boxes, here, there and everywhere, all I could see was cactus all around me. The huge variety of cactus, the shapes, the sizes, the patterns, the height, the width, the length, it all looked like they were so free and they were allowed to breathe in this house, they were allowed to move in this house, they were allowed to go into the shape they wanted and reach the height they wanted and pattern they wanted. Whereas at home, we would just stick them in a pot and let them be. But here I felt like they could develop into more of a character and be who they wanted to. I don't actually keep any cacti in my house as I'm a bit freaked out by them, by the spikes that are like because they they are so sharp and they yeah that's the reason why I don't keep them but coming to the knowledge that they can be extremely helpful, beneficial for our health our emotional and our physical health, I have um, having second thoughts about buying them. 
Thai plants can filter the air around us, making it better quality air for us to breathe in. They can increase our mood, more productivity and even therapeutic benefits. I would like to thank everyone for watching, for your time and support. I do hope you have enjoyed this video as much as I have visiting this house, this garden and capturing and sharing it with everyone. In my next video I will be uploading part 4 of my visit to Botanical Gardens at Kew and it will be the second section of this house that really took me by surprise so i hope you can join me then till then stay blessed take care thank you for watching allah hafiz assalamu alaikum bye bye